To make way for new growth and stimulate flowering, some plants require careful pruning. Plants that have been pruned prior to winter are better able to withstand the elements. If you prune a tree or shrub after its bloom buds have formed, you can kiss your spring flowers goodbye. Flowering woody plants should be pruned in late fall or winter. Since flower buds form on new growth rather than old foliage, certain plants can be clipped in the fall. Take a look at these five plants that should be pruned annually in the fall. Number one, phlox. Even the resistant phlox cultivars might get powdery mildew when the weather turns nasty. Nine in that case, fall is the time to do any necessary pruning and destruction of stems and leaves. When a plant is healthy, thinning can improve ventilation and reduce the risk of disease. Phlox prefers a nutrient-rich, medium moisture, and well-drained soil. Plants in hardiness zones four through eight thrive. Number two, lavender. Lavender should be pruned twice a year, once in the fall after it has flowered and again in the spring. Lavender will not fare well if pruned too severely once summer ends. Instead, see fall pruning as a chance to gather lavender for drying and using as an inside fragrance. Some uses call for lavender to be cut as the blooms open while others call for it to be cut as the blossoms begin to fade. Lavender prefers temperatures between five and eight degrees Fahrenheit, though this varies with the variety. Number three, hydrangea. The only reason to prune hydrangeas is if they become unruly, take over too much space, or stop producing new growth after years of neglect. Fall blooming hydrangeas also known as old wood bloomers, should be pruned after they finish flowering in the summer. In the fall, when the hydrangeas have finished flowering, you should prune them if they bloomed in the summer. Hardy hydrangeas can be grown in USDA plant hardiness zones six and seven. Number four, gardenia. In the summer, gardenias bloom with their signature fragrance and the season typically continues into the fall for most varieties. As the conclusion of the growing season approaches, you should clip your gardenias to get rid of any sagging branches or blossoms that have seen better days. Most species do well in humid, warm climates and USDA hardiness zones, eight through 11 are ideal. Number five, chase trees. Pruning the chase tree, also known as Vitex agnus castus, is best done in the late winter, but you can get away with doing it as early as late fall if necessary. Pruning a pure tree entails thinning off its overgrown branches, so say the authorities. You may coax a second round of blooming from a plant by cutting off the spent flowers before they set seed. Growing conditions for Vitex agnus castus are best in zone six through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.